The last video I made was called The Worst Chefs on YouTube, a video which, well, obviously highlights some creators on YouTube who are horrifically bad at cooking food, either making extremely unappetising food, or food that is a danger to them or others if they possibly dare to serve it, which many of them do. One of the people in this video was a man named Masaukis, a man who I pronounced Maseo the whole time, which is something I will continue to do by the way. A man who is so recognisable for his signature accent and let's say less than optimal kitchen standards. I did say I was going to do a video on him in the future, but I didn't quite expect myself to do it this soon and that is because Maseo is such an interesting figure. With that last video being so brief, it was sort of a compilation. I really didn't get anywhere near to covering, well, anything really about Maseo, just quickly showing off some of his better videos that he has uploaded within his almost decade and a half's worth of content available on YouTube. Actually trying to do a deep dive on Maseo is quite difficult, as although he's very interesting, He's not someone that really gives a lot of information about themselves, even despite him being on YouTube for just under 14 years now, which is actually quite impressive. He's not even shown anything about his face or how he looks. Literally all we have to go off is some of the things he said, his shadow in a single video, and one time when he technically showed off his face when he was wearing a gas mask. So there isn't really much of an introduction I can actually give to you about who Maseo actually is. Probably the best way to actually find out who he is as a person is to, well, watch the videos. So let's start off with the very first video he ever made, Cooking Hot Dogs and Peaches. Surprisingly, this very first video of his is pretty much a quintessential Maseo video, and pretty much shows you everything that you need to know about Maseo. Firstly, the first thing he does, cooking wise, is grab a hot dog and then proceeds to cook it via one of the most professional pieces of cooking apparatus, a candle. The amount of mess he has immediately becomes a problem with his cooking as he wants to start boiling the hot dog. However, he struggles to find a spot due to this, and then, when he starts the burner, he starts the wrong one and begins a fire right next to his blender. Speaking of his blender, you may remember that this video is called Cooking Hot Dogs and Peaches, and no no, these are not cooked separately. These are instead both put in the blender and blended together, making a little hot dog peach smoothie. Something that uh, doesn't look too good and makes him retch instantly and throw it away. Oh, fuck, what a smell! <coughs> okay, we're gonna forget about the. <coughs> Man, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, guys, don't mix sausages with peaches. Fuck. Damn it. Man. I should mention, there are actually two channels which have Maseo content on. The channel I've started talking about already, and will continue to talk about for a while longer, is the channel... Parthenocar PSA, which I probably pronounced wrong, and contains Maseo's videos from 2008 to 2010. These videos were on Maseo's original channel, however at some point Maseo deleted these videos as well as his channel, so the owner of this Parthenocarpy channel archived them and began uploading them with many of them under the title of Cooking with Hoarders, clearly a reference to Maseo's great deal of mess. As to why Maseo deleted this channel is unknown, however it has been theorised that it has been deleted out of worry of somebody finding out about his living situation in real life, although this is just a theory so the legitimacy of this is of course dubious. Something which we'll get onto later is Maseo's own actual channel called Maseo HF which he created around 2010 as well and still uses, so that's something that should be noted. Perhaps the most iconic of Maseo's videos is one titled Omelette for Obama, a video he decided to make on the day of President Barack Obama's inauguration. I don't necessarily know why this inauguration made him want to make an omelette for Obama, especially considering he doesn't even seem to like him, as right at the start of the video he compares George Bush to Mussolini and Obama to Stalin, stating that it is as if 
Mussolini was handing over power to Stalin. Further into this video, it gets a lot wackier, as with an omelette, he needs eggs, specifically egg whites. This becomes a problem as Maceo doesn't know what an egg white is, and the thing about eggs in the Americas is that the eggshells are white, so Maceo uses the eggshells and tries to mix it to liquefy it. So, uh, in order to whisk the egg whites, it's important that you have some uh, air, you know, that the air has to get in in order to really whisk them well. Uh, you can use uh, this thing. Uh, it's best if you clean uh, the pot really well before uh, whisking the egg whites, or else it's not, it's not going to come right. Because uh, you're going to take off all the protein, you know? Uh, if you know the uh, egg yellow even uh, you know has a, a little bit of you know if it touches the, the egg white just a little bit you're not going to be able to whisk them so uh, you got to clean it up so we're going to use this to whisk the egg whites you always need to mix a little bit of water now I haven't been able to do it properly yet I think it, you, you need a lot of practice in order to do it properly but I read up, you know, the technique and all. So first, you need to clean the little things here because uh, there's still some some of the really weird, like gooey stuff in there. So you, you have to take it away completely. Okay. Uh, this is a machine is made to whisk uh, the egg whites. Okay. What's supposed to happen? You see the the, uh, the hard part of the egg white, okay? It, it's supposed to become like soft. You see, so you have this little. See this part? It's it's soft. It it became soft because I uh, wish it. But the whole thing is that the the problem is that not the whole thing becomes soft. It's only like some parts of it that. You know, it's supposed to, the whole thing is supposed to become, you know, soft. You see, you got a little bit of soft here and then, but there's a hard part that's still attached. So you, you gotta do it better. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I heard that if you put some lemon, you know, around, it's going to, like, acidify the stuff. But ideally, it, it should become like a cream or something, you know? Matters are made worse when he tries to actually heat these shell-ridden eggs as his pan instantly sets alight which of course sets him into a bit of a panic, which is absolutely fair, a big fire has just started in his kitchen. Due to this panic, the very first thing he does when he notices this fire is turn TV off that is actually playing the inauguration, and then throw the still on fire pan outside filling it with snow, which does actually put it out. Alright, I need a spoon. To, um... Whoa! What the fuck? Holy shit! What in the world is this? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I'm gonna shut the TV off now. What in the world is this? Oh! Holy shit! Ah! How the fuck is this happening? Oh! Oh! 
Holy shit. Oh. What, what the fuck? Shit, the, ah, man, I fucking burnt my finger. Oh, man. Ah. With this video being so infamous, being possibly the most chaotic video of his, Maceo has talked about it numerous times now, including watching it on his channel. In some of these videos, he would talk about how he didn't know what actual egg whites were until later that month. He also revealed that he tried eating these shell-filled omelettes when he had gone to the gym for at least a week, which was something that obviously annoyed him. You may have noticed how in both of the videos I've talked about so far, there has been a fire. This isn't a coincidence, as fires are actually quite commonplace in his videos, so much so that there is a little compilation of all of his fires. Ah oh, shit. I'm going to put the pepper in, and um, how do I put down this fire? <sighs> oh fuck. It's not a good idea to make a video when you're so tired. Ah oh, shit, how do you put a fire out like that? Uh, wait a minute. Ah oh, shit, I hate fire. Maybe with a... Uh, 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 vegetable juice. Ah, a little bit of juice. Okay, there you go. Uh, I once had this fire, and I in a, a pot, and I and I put some water, okay, to to uh, to put out the fire. And when and when the water touched the fire, it just exploded. It got even worse. There are, there are some kinds of fires sometimes that um, that don't get taken out. Mm. For fuck's sake, it's still so. We just try to get it a bit softer. You can put some oh more shit. You can put some flammable stuff on it, like um, you know this thing. Um, but it's uh, it's not a good idea. Ouch! It's not a good idea because it's kind of like um, not good to, to drink. Uh, it's like poison or something. So you don't want to put it on your food. Um, pose this to some kind of heat just to get it a bit softer because it's still hard. Um, wait a minute. Oh, well, it doesn't work. Oh, anyway, uh, let's see. Well, we'll see. Anyway, you know, uh, whoa. Okay, looks like. Oh, fuck. There's some salt. Take the fire out. Uh, 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 what the fuck? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, come on. Whoa! For heaven's sake. Uh, it's gonna die. I'm gonna fucking get. Uh, all right. Uh, huh. On second thought, um, looks like I need to change the aluminum right now. It's all slippery, so it doesn't uh, roll well when I try to make it roll with the fork. Oof. All right. Usually it says we should put the milk in the blender, but wait a minute, there's smoke. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, for fucks. Ah, wait a minute. Uh, put some water. All right. That happens sometimes. Usually, some water and fire goes out. Maybe there was something stuck inside. I don't know. 
for fuck's sake, what the hell is wrong with this place? Something that I've not really mentioned yet is the amount of mess that he has in his place, which you have likely noticed already seeing as it started the fire I mentioned in the first video. This mess is extremely present in these videos from 2008, and is apparently not even the worst it has ever been, according to Maceo himself. This mess once got so bad that Maceo made a video of him attempting to clean some of his house up, and due to everything, he was forced to wear a gas mask while doing this, and also, for some reason, a fedora. Do as I say, and not as I do. Please, do not let your house become like this. I warn you, please be careful. This can be very dangerous for your house. You must be careful. You must clean up your house every day. You must wash your clothes. You must do your clean your dishes. You cannot allow your house to become like this, or you will become like me. Be careful. Possibly the worst video that Maceo has ever uploaded is a video called Another Fruit Punch. And obviously I don't mean that it's bad, it's of course a great video, but it is by far the worst thing that he's ever prepared for YouTube. The ingredients of this fruit punch include bananas, with the skin still on, oranges, with the skin still on, as well as their stickers. However, the worst thing that was included was some peaches that had gone incredibly mouldy. Oh, as well as some milk and some buka, but those are actually okay ingredients, considering the first few, especially the peaches. There wasn't a taste test shown in this video, but Maceo would reveal that he did actually drink this after the video, which accordingly made him throw up everywhere. Which I mean, yeah, it's not really a surprise, is it? So we're ready to drink this. Um... So, uh, well, try it. Alcohol, specifically Sambuca, is a big part of the original Maceo videos, as he absolutely loves Sambuca. He does enjoy other alcoholic drinks, but he really, really loves Sambuca. As a result of this appreciation of alcohol, you may be able to put two and two together and realise that these videos tend to be created due to some level of intoxication. He states in one video that he often doesn't even remember making videos due to how drunk he gets. This is very apparent in a video called Worst Morning Ever, where he's so drunk that he is really upset about it. There isn't really much to show from this, but he manages to break a camera. <laughs> empty a nearly full bottle of rum danasink, and talks about his sister's venture into Scientology. Just a brief aside, this was another video Maceo would react to years later, and in this modern video, he would be really upset about wasting all of that rum. That's it, boy. Oh boy. That's it, man. I killed it. I killed this -y. Oi. We're like, I feel like I'm inside the camera. Wait, am I throwing away the rum? What? No! No! Don't throw away. Another notable thing about Maceo's videos is that he will often just make strange noises. As to why he does this, I have literally no idea. I don't know if he's just trying to stop the dead air or something, who knows. So I'll just play a couple of these weird noises that he makes for you. You know, you gotta, you gotta leave, you know, gotta like, you gotta go to, to, to work or you know, whatever, you gotta, you know, go somewhere or whatever. And you're like really tired and you're like, yeah, yeah. You can try some Kool Aid. Give me it. Uh, yeah, it's heavy. 
Yeah, Let's try it. Ooh. Ooh. What was that little noise? I heard a wee. Oh, whatever. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that wakes you up. Ah, let's try a drink. It's a bit too hot. I'm gonna try the way I drink coffee with a straw because it's so hot that. Oh, yeah, it burns my tongue. Yeah, it's too. I put it in the freezer. And I'm gonna drink it uh, later on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to shove this off. Sweet home Alabama. Yeah, swing on a bucket to swing. All right. Uh. How the hell is it? <laughs> We're coming to the end of the first batch of videos that he uploaded back in the late 2000s that are archived on the Parthenocarpy SA channel, so I'll just quickly show off a couple of highlights that I don't really have time to get into detail about without ruining the flow of this video. I feel some strange noise underneath. It's like there's something. Well, maybe not. All right. Well, this thing's disgusting. I always stick out the first. All right. Holy shit! What the fuck? Green. Ah oh, shit! It's rotten. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Uh, fucking supermarket. All because of the fucking capitalist trade unions, you know, that they keep all the fucking rotten things. What the fuck? This one's not rotten, but well, the rotten stuff is probably spreading all over. I'm gonna throw this out. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, next, uh, spinach dip. It's good stuff. It mixes well with uh, the, the ham and uh, and um, the mustard. Delicious stuff. Yeah. I wish there was another way to do this with the hands so maybe give me uh, yeah. Oh man, I'm so uh, I'm sweating all over, it's disgusting. Damn. Whew. Ah, uh, uh. uh. Oh. Mmm. Um, um. Oh, this is paradise. Mmm. Oh, man, I feel sorry for Abraham Lincoln lived in a time when this didn't exist. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Oh, this is orgasmic. Oh, my God, I'm gonna have another bite. Mmm. 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 Oh man. Mm. No, man. Oh my god, I gotta shut this camera off because I'm gonna eat this now. Guys, you gotta try this. This is this is the most delicious thing ever. Alright, so see you guys later. Before we move into Maseo's actual channel, let's move away from all of his videos 
and instead talk about some of his other creations, short stories he wrote, and his blog. On December 2nd, 2010, Maceo created a blog called Maceo's Rambling Thoughts. The purpose of this blog is non-existent, with not even Maceo not knowing the purpose of it, creating an opening message of, not sure how this is supposed to work out, I'll just post some random stuff in here once in a while. BTW, I think Wendy is kind of cute. This random bit of detail is something I find extremely funny, as it has nothing to do with the blog, other than some random thoughts and feelings, and it's a great way to start a blog by calling a random fast food mascot cute. The only other real message of any note from this blog is the second one, titled Scary, where he states, I've got messages telling me that I'm scary. I'm not trying to scare people, ha ha ha. I had to be my own surrogate parent, so obviously I turned out a bit weird. Trying to hide that weirdness killed me. I find that people like me better if they see the real me instead of me trying so hard to act normal. I'm not trying anymore, screw it. And if you find me scary, you must think Eeyore is scary with a tail nailed in this coccyx. I love you, Eeyore. This is probably the most Maceo piece of content there is, and it's all nicely shown off in this short blog post, with him giving us a random piece of information about himself that he seemingly had to raise himself to an extent and then rambling about weirdness, before quickly moving on to Eeyore of all things for some reason. On a quick side note, I just wanted to mention this is the second time I've mentioned something Winnie the Pooh related on my channel, which isn't really that many times in the grand scheme of things, but it is a bit weird that it's come up twice now in doing these videos. The final post from 2010, and the final post I'll read out from his blog, concerned his perspective of other people, titled, Some People Are Weird, where he states, I see them every day, they're dressed funny, either they've got weird haircuts or strange rings, tattoos on their face, baggy pants down to their knees so you can see their underwear, hats on backwards, whatever. They talk in strange languages, and go through unhealthy efforts to look cool and badass. And in conversation, it's like talking to someone rehearsing a comedy routine. Yo, 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 making little noises, flashing weird hand signs. K, I get it, you're a badass, but why the hell do you need me to think you're a badass? I only really wanted to mention this one because it kind of makes Maceo sound like an alien or a robot, not really understanding how some humans are and how he just doesn't get them. But We'll get onto this later on. Throughout the 12 years since these posts, Maceo would only manage to create 5 more blog posts, which would be very varied but also very brief, switching between politics and weird sexual fetishes that Japanese characters have in the very same post. In other posts he would talk about bartending, laziness, his dog, and how he doesn't update his blog. The very last post from this blog comes from March 30th, 2020. These posts are as essentially as brief as I've just mentioned, but they definitely do live up to the name of Maceo's rambling thoughts. They may be worth a read to many of you, but it's not really worth me talking about further. Also on Maceo's website, he has written five short stories, with the first one being released on May of 2008. These short stories have a common theme which you'll soon be able to tell, and might give you a bit of whiplash considering the cooking stuff I've talked about previously. And I don't mean this as a little joke or something quite light, no, it's nowhere near where you'd expect this video to go. The first story is titled, Scary People Looking At Me, with the very first chapter being called simply, Poontang. However, sadly, the main theme of this whole story isn't the best kind of quote-unquote Poontang, as it mainly consists of incest, and it's not slight, it is filled to the brim with incest from start to finish, with even grape popping up towards the end, which is wild considering it's only 17 pages worth of writing. To show off how strange some of the writing is, I'm going to read a brief excerpt for you. My dad walked out of the house. Wow, that was intense. I thought he would have scolded me. Well, whatever, sometimes he acts a bit weird. My sister says she often does tree psalms with him and her boyfriend. I wonder what that is. I suppose it's got something to do with trees and psalms or something complicated like that. My mum also gets angry for some reason whenever I ask her about what my dad is doing with my sister. 
I don't know why my mum gets angry because people play with trees. I mean, I heard there are religious cults full of people who worship trees or something. I hope my mum's not in one, because someone told me religious cults do painful things to boys and their peepees. If this wasn't already weird, at the end of the story, he's enlisted for a revolution in Bolivia against communism. The next story, The Prince of Darkness, is actually the most normal, and I'll be very brief with it, as it is the least notable of all the stories. Thankfully, incest does not play a role in this story, although the majority of the story revolves around the protagonist trying to manipulate a woman into loving him. However, this completely fails, and is instead convinced by a woman to hold on to an e-meter of some kind. What is notable about this story is the political themes that are prevalent throughout, something that wasn't really in his first story, but the Democrats and Republicans are both mentioned multiple times. The final three stories are all linked together. The first of these, The Wrath of God, is literally about AIDS bracelets, with the protagonist being a homosexual with them trying to get Obama elected. Sadly, with Dances with Democrats we return to the incest stories, with the whole plot revolving around Obama wanting the protagonist to do the deed with his sister, who looks like the fast food mascot, Wendy, although he refuses and is killed. The final story, The Chosen One, is mainly about January 6th, 2021, which is a date that should ring a bell. Oh yeah, and also it's still about incest. This story is mainly the same as Dances with Democrats, However, Antifa make it look as though the Republicans do January 6th, and at the end, the protagonist is cannibalised by the same Wendy's sister as the last story, despite it being a different protagonist. I'm going to be honest, after reading these short stories, I don't really know what to say about them, and just like his videos, they kind of have to be seen to be believed. I didn't know of these stories since I've known about Maseo, but Oh boy, is it a stark contrast from the innocent cooking videos that he has made. Now, it's probably a bit late to say this, but Maseo has addressed these, saying that he does purposely make them as crazy as possible because he thought it would be funny, which does actually seem to make a bit of sense with how he is. Going back to the videos, on the 17th of February 2010, Maseo would create a new channel called Maseo HF. However, he wouldn't upload a video until three days later, on the 20th of February, called Lemon Rice Recipe, where we would receive a big shock, as it was something that he actually made well. So it would seem as though Maseo had changed a lot in the brief time that he had left YouTube. Briefly going back to the short stories, well, kind of, in a video called Making Tea, Maseo shows off a cup of Wendy's he has stating this. Oh, by the way. She's pretty cute, yeah? <laughs> anyway, forget about it. And then later on, in the second part of this video, mentions this about his sister. But I think rotten chicken might be a good aphrodisiac or something, so... Might wanna, you know, I wanna have my sister over, I'll give her some of that. Um... My work, you know? Still haven't, uh, given up or something. With this newer channel, Maseo had been revealing a lot more about himself. Nothing to do with his actual look, that still remains a mystery, we've only got his profile picture to go off in that regard, but more so about him as a person. In quite a few videos he goes in depth about a couple of things, but I'll only bring up a couple of big ones that seem to have the biggest effect on Maseo as a person and with his content. One of these videos was one called A Few Updates, which would actually be quite a confusing one to many, as Maseo would bring up rehab. Now, to many of you who have seen some of the clips of Maseo, as well as my mentions of Sambuca multiple times, may think that this is for rehab, which was a common thought that people had. However, Maseo hasn't had problems with his drinking in this regard, and instead has a condition with his motor skills which makes walking difficult, as well as doing basic tasks, which had slowed down his video production, as well as his real life slowed down. However, I don't think Maseo has since mentioned this condition ever again, so perhaps it was treatable or manageable to a degree where it no longer affects Maseo like it used to, as this video was released on Valentine's Day 2011, so hopefully it no longer is a major issue to him. In another video, Thoughts and Reminiscence, we get quite a lot more Maseo lore, so I'll start off with perhaps the biggest part of this, although this probably won't be that surprising to you, 
and that is that Maceo revealed at one point that he had gone to a psychologist and that they had diagnosed him as autistic. Now, this might be worth a giggle to some of you, but in the most sincere way possible, this isn't really a surprising piece of information, but it is nice for it to be confirmed, I guess. With how he acts, it makes a lot of sense that he is actually autistic, and this is quite heavily shown in a video from his original channel called The Truth of Maceo, where he responds to people on the hockey forums who were claiming that he was a troll, in which he says this. And one thing that people seem to be asking is, you know, is this real? I mean, are you for real? Is this, like, are you acting? Are you, is this all just, like, staged or, uh, you know, is this, is this house for real or it, is, is this some kind of plastic prop, you know? Uh, people are asking this and from what I read uh, uh, on the internet that when people were talking about these videos, there always seems to be two sides. The people, to, you know, some people are saying, oh, this guy is... Uh, is a genius uh, of comedy or something, uh, and some people saying, uh, oh, no, this guy is a mental freak. Uh, and then there are people who say, well, why is it that what this guy is saying in his videos uh, is not is different from what he actually writes on message boards? You know, if you read the stuff that I wrote on, on message boards, I don't always sound uh, weird. I don't know myself if all this is real, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Um, you know, when you know someone, you know, people all have something called a personality, right? Um, so you know people instinctively, you figure out, though, this guy is more uh, laid back, this guy is more nervous, this guy uh, gets angry easily, or... Uh, you know, there's always something that makes people up, makes people what they are, you know, that defines uh, their characteristic. I don't know if I really have a personality. And, and that's that's the problem. I don't have, uh, at least, I don't feel like I have any natural reactions. It's always like, um, I'm always different. There's no real me, there's no normal me. I, I am completely different depending on who I'm talking to, depending on who I'm interacting with, you know? And um, that's because I don't feel like there's anything really natural about me. You know, when you, when you have like, um, uh, I don't know, you know, body language, uh, tone of voice, uh, uh, all these things, all these uh, signs of communication, not just what you say, but how you say it and, you know, the way you tilt your head, the way you smile, all that, all that. Um, I don't have a normal way of, of this. It, it's always like, um, it's always different, depending on how the person in front of me uh, is acting. Uh, my smile is always a reflection of the other person's smile. Uh, it, it's always um, conscious. It's never real because I never know uh, how it can be real. Back to the video thoughts and reminiscence, he also mentions that he only really comes to the iconic residence we all know and love when he wants to be alone. Now, I don't really know who he's referring to with this statement, I have no idea if he's in a relationship or anything. The only other hint towards this is him saying, I'll give that to the mother-in-law when referring to some pizza he dropped in a different video. But I think it's kind of cool that the kitchen we regularly see in Maceo's videos is kind of a sanctuary for him, you know, despite the mess. Maceo recalled in one of his more recent videos that his house had once been so messy that at one point he had mice which would manage to completely kill themselves as they bit into a box of rat poison that he had bought to obviously get rid of them. Further information would be revealed about his house from before he had ever started making videos, which he showed off in a video titled Travel Back in Time with Maceo, a look at what this place was like between 2001 and 2008 where he showed off that he would throw knives at his wall, for some reason, 
as well as having a massive bug infestation due to how messy it had become, a problem that was likely furthered by his toilet having been broken at some point, making his house smell like literal sewage. There aren't really as many classic moments on Maceo's actual channel as there are on the Pathenocarpi SA channel, and some of these moments have been covered in my last video that I mentioned earlier, the worst cooks on YouTube. So sadly we are coming to the end of Maceo, but before we end, what do we actually know about Maceo? Well, as a Canadian, Maceo loves hockey, and played it often. He would also post on hockey forums since at least 2002, and this is the reason as to why he started posting videos, as many posters on the hockey forums found him so interesting. This is a pretty good marker for how old he is, but he was even more specific in one video where he states he was around 12 in either 1988 or 1989, so he's roughly in his mid 40s now according to this statement. Also, something else that is important is that Maceo is actually a lot more intelligent than a lot of you would think, well at least in some ways, as Maceo has gone through law school and appears to be a law clerk of some kind, which also explains as to why he's so successful and has two houses. As usual, I've not been able to completely cover everything there is to cover about Maceo, but that does give you some ability to go out and watch him for yourselves, as a lot of his videos really do consist of his own personal philosophy and attempts at DIY in his houses. With his philosophy, it probably explains as to why his house is so messy, as he believes possessions lead to your dependence on them, so having no connection to any of his property doesn't make him as upset when there's loads of mess. There's many possible thoughts you could gather from watching his videos, so I do wholeheartedly suggest you go out and watch his videos, as at least in my opinion, he's a genuinely likeable guy, and his eccentricity is a good but weird draw. However, this is all I've got to say about Maceo, so this is where we leave off with him. He does upload semi-regularly, and since Covid happened, his video output has drastically increased. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. In the description below you can find my second channel, where there are stream archives as well as the occasional shit post. You can also find my Twitter, which again has the occasional shit post, although I mainly just retweet things. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.